Captain John F. Manning, Jr. We finally deployed in uh, somewhere around, uh, I want to say July or so, or June, but we were, our first deployment was nine months, and we uh, went to the Mediterranean, and back then, uh, you know, it was a typical Mediterranean cruise in that, you know, you, you, there wasn't that much flying, you know, that they tried to keep us current and proficient, and the hardest thing was to keep night qualified, because, you know, you had to have a night landing after so many days, and there were requirements for what you had to do to go out at night, and, and so uh, a lot of port visits, it was kind of an enjoyable time. And, uh, and then, uh, and we did all the missions, you know, they had, you know, training missions. We you know, actually had live ordnance drops, we had missile shoots, uh, we had all kinds of things, but nothing exciting back in those days. And in those days, there were always two aircraft carriers in the Mediterranean. And, uh, and usually it was one east and one west. And, there were generally trawlers or Soviet destroyers or ships around us all the time. Uh, I mean, and, and I'm sure they were, uh, the ASW guys were tracking submarines around. Uh, and uh, and we, uh, you know, we'd have reports, but it was common to have a Soviet uh, destroyer of some car trailing the ship around all the time. And we'd fly over them, we'd identify them, you know, or we'd look around and do surface searches to make sure who's in the area. And we would frequently, uh, back in those days, uh, intercept Soviet airplanes, who in those days were flying out of Libya. They were badgers. That was a, a bomber. And didn't see too many of the, uh, of the bears, the big four-engine turboprop, but mostly badgers out of Libya. And, uh, and we'd intercept them and join up on them, take their picture, and they'd take ours. And and, uh, and it, it was sort of a, a game of cat and mouse, if you will, both people watching each other. But uh, I, I never saw any real adverse effects of it. Now, the Intel guys may, would know more than I did. I mean, I'm a, I, I might have made a lieutenant on that first cruise, you know, that was, you know, so I, I was pretty new in the Navy then. We came home uh, after nine months, and I think we got home sometime, uh, I want to say March or April, I don't, I don't remember exactly right now. I could, could look at my notes, but I don't, uh, I don't exactly recall. And then we were supposed to, we changed air wings, and we were actually originally scheduled to go to Vietnam, uh, as we were planning, and we went from air wing seven to air wing six, and we went from uh, the USS Independence to the USS Franklin D. Roosevelt, 